when the world needs someone to do the really big stuff, you need an American. President Obama's policies undermine the traditional family, weaken the education system, and this summer, he showed us once again he believes in government handouts, handouts and dependency by waiving the work requirement for welfare. What do you mean, shut up? <laughs> I, okay. It just, I thought it was just because somebody had a stupid idea of trying uh, terrorists in downtown New York City. I, I'm not going to shut up. It's my turn. You know. <laughs> so anyway, we got, we're going to have... Uh, we're going to have to have a little chat about that. Were they just speaking to their base or was there something deeper at play there? You know, some people have called those quotes from the RNC racist and say that that fixation on welfare and birtherism meant to be something akin to dog whistles who, for those who might want to consider race at the ballot box, other people uh, may not see that at all. So the question really two that come out of that, is that what was happening last week at the Republican convention in Tampa? And what kind of tones and are there similar tones that we ex can expect to underlie this week's convention? I'll, I'll hand it over to the table. Let's start with those quotes from Tampa and the ones like it and the, and the focus is on topic. What were they thinking? I mean, the, 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 uh, who, is, is that a persuasion technique? I mean, bringing Clint Eastwood out there to talk to an empty chair and insult the president? I, I, I find myself at a loss for words. This doesn't happen very often. And, and <laughs> all, all evidence and, of the contrary. And, Amen. And, 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 and all I can tell you is that um, they, the Democrats will not do any worse than that. But but let me just make this point. Now, maybe, maybe I'm a little lost, but I didn't see anything racist in what we just played there. Uh, it's traditional Republican talking points to say that Democrats love welfare and so on. It's traditional Dem Republican talking about to talk about Willie Horton. What was that? Well, come on. Well, that's, we're going way back, but let's, that's like blaming George Bush entirely for all our problems now. We've got to have President Obama discussing things. I think it's amazing. If Obama discussed reform and mentioned that word once in a while, it would diffuse a lot of his problems and it would stop your fence straddlers and maybe people like me for saying, gee, I think I'm going to try Romney this time. But uh, Clint Eastwood is at Cedar sinai being treated for an inverted cerebellum now. But if you <laughs> took an alternative, if George Clooney got up at the DNC and made believe that he was talking to Romney, then you'd have all the really liberal Democrats slapping their thighs going, know. this is the greatest thing Stop in the world. Stop telling us what we might say if something happened. We haven't said it. George Clooney's not going to do that. Clint Eastwood did do that. It was idiotic. S such is life. The, the, the Republican convention did not seek to do anything but stir up its base that may be they may be politically correct in doing that the democratic convention is not going to make that mistake. i don't even know if they did a good job of stirring up their base to be honest with you uh, i think they could have been a lot harder in terms of going after the president um but I as far as i don't think it's fair to go after obama on the workfare stuff considering that it was the republican governors that asked him to change as i'm sure you'll point out that asked him to change those requirements so that they would have more control and you know one can make the argument over there are more food stamps now than ever before but why is that not that not that anybody ever let a fact get in the way of a political argument in a, in a presidential campaign but we're certainly going to hear this week in charlotte you know, immigration and anti that the Republicans are anti-immigration and anti-immigrant, don't care about particular groups of the, of the population. Uh, are, are those uh, and similar type arguments that they don't, we're going to hear all week about the middle class and that the Republican Party doesn't care about the middle class. Are those similar, to use the same term, dog whistles to supporters uh, of, the, of the Democratic Party? I don't think you're going to see that. I think you're really? going to see a set of broader appeals to the nation. I think you're going to see an attempt to elevate uh, Obama make him look even more presidential. I, 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 I don't, uh, the, you don't have to smack people on the head to point out that there are many Hispanic Democratic elected officials and almost no Republicans. And, and on the middle class, because if you're doing a middle class drinking game, you're going to be on the floor, I think, after a couple hours. It's what is a middle class drinking every, game? You drink every time somebody says middle class. Oh, I see. Yeah. Have you tried that? That's, that's why I'm not in the middle <laughs> well, class. I, I, I think what we're looking at tonight is the, the, the battle of the potential first ladies. That, that's what's going to be interesting. Because I, I think if we're being honest about this, Ann Romney hit a grand slam in terms of, uh, in terms of trying to humanize 
demonize her husband. It'll be, and she did a good job with the speech. It'll be very interesting to see what the First Lady of the United States tonight, how she counters Ann Romney. Rob, quickly. I think Michelle Obama is going to tell us about what a great guy her husband is and all these altruistic things he wants to do for the country and for people. And they are good things, but the question is, can he really do these things and how are they going to be achieved monetarily? All right, I'll tell you what I need to do for the country, which is take a quick break here on RFL. But when we come back, we're going to focus in on the women's vote. Will Michelle Obama's speech tonight help the president with the women of America? That is next. Stay with us.